Whenever a new game show hits the airwaves, they always explain the rules very carefully for the contestants and, of course, for the people at home who are seeing the show for the first time. So we thought we'd take a look at some of these shows while the rules are being explained. So you can tune in later without saying, what are they doing? This first one's pretty easy. It's called Heads or Tails. <laughs> okay. Our contestants today, Jack and Matilda. What a pretty name, Matilda. Hey, welcome to Heads or Tails. Now, let's review the rules before we get going, shall we? To begin the game, I will flip a coin. You'll take turns guessing which side of the coin will land upright. If you're correct, you win the round. The person winning the most rounds wins the game, okay? All right, let's go. Now, on this side of the coin is the likeness of George Washington from the neck up. Now, this side of the coin is referred to as heads. Plural, although, in fact, he only has one head, <laughs> okay? Now, on the other side of the coin is the likeness of the bald eagle with its wings spread. Now, this side of the coin is referred to as tails, although, again, the bald eagle only has one tail, okay? <laughs> now, it's important not to get confused, and remember, the George Washington side is heads, because, in fact, the bald eagle also has a head. Okay? <laughs> so, Matilda... And here's a show that really does need some explanation. The wordplay game, Alphabet Soup. And just to avoid confusion, here are the rules once again. When a word comes up on the alpha board, you will have five seconds to hit your buzzer and name a word that begins with the last letter of the word on the board. Then your opponent will have five seconds to name another word that begins with the last letter of the word that you said, and so on. But a word cannot begin with a last letter that has already been used. If it has been used, the contestant who first used that letter as a last letter will receive 10 points, be able to use that letter again, and will receive bonus points for doing so. And if the other contestant uses that letter twice, they will only be able to end words in vowels unless they use the first letter of the word that originally came up on the alpha board or all of their own letters in sequence, in which case they will receive all of their opponent's repeated letters and half of their bonus points. Here are the rules for round two. <laughs> 